Today I'm going to tell you how to check if you are burnt out or not. Interested? If yes, stay tuned! Hi, this is Sebastian Antonowicz and on my 5-minute psychology channel I make educational videos about psychology. Some time ago I recorded a video about ways in which you can fight with the burnout syndrome and a couple of you started asking, but what is it really, this burnout syndrome? How can you recognize it? Well, upon this popular demand I decided to record today's video. Whether you are currently working for a big corporate company or for a small family-owned one, whether you are an employer yourself or an employee, doesn't matter, because in all of these situations you can be suffering from burnout syndrome. And there are some telltale signs of burnout syndrome. I will tell you about them, but before I do that, if you want to get all the latest videos about psychology, which will help you understand yourself better and help others, make sure to subscribe to my channel now. ICD-11, or International Classification of Diseases, is a huge taxonomy, which is a guideline for medicine doctors and psychologists all over the world to be able to diagnose many different diseases and illnesses. And ICD-11 describes also burnout. This um, occupational phenomenon, according to ICD, has some characteristic symptoms. Let's check if you can find some of them in yourself. Do you feel that your energy is depleted and you have no motivation? Do you feel emotional distance between you and your work? Do you have some negative feelings about your work in general? Are you cynical about your work? Perhaps you can't concentrate on your work too well. Or maybe that you are no longer as efficient at work as you used to be. If any of these sound um, familiar to you, there is a big chance that you are suffering from the burnout syndrome. But the description, this very short one I gave you, is according to the ICD-11. Now, based on my own professional experience, I would be able to give you a wider range of behaviors and symptoms that perhaps you will be able to recognize in yourself. For my own purpose, I divide burnout syndrome symptoms into three groups. Physical symptoms, so the bodily related symptoms, emotional symptoms, and behavioral symptoms. Let's start with the bodily ones, shall we? Do you feel constantly tired no matter what you do, or especially when it's work-related? Whatever part of the day it is, you just feel you lack energy for doing anything whatsoever. You feel as if someone has sucked out all your energy. And perhaps when you wake up in the morning, you don't even have enough energy to crawl out of bed. If it happens once in a while, don't worry, probably it's not burnout. But if it happens on a regular basis, most days of the week, then there is a big chance that you are suffering from burnout syndrome. Do you have this feeling that you can't get enough sleep? You could be sleeping 10, 12, 14 hours per day. If it sounds familiar and if it happens more often, then there is a chance that you should visit your psychologist and talk about it with them. Or perhaps you have to deal with a totally opposite situation. No matter what you do, you just can't fall asleep. It takes hours for you to fall asleep. And when you do, you actually wake up in the middle of the night for no apparent reason. When you wake up in the morning, you get a headache and it's a repeated situation. Or you get a backache or muscle ache, even though you haven't been doing any serious exercises. This is the way in which your body tells you that you are under a constant influence of stress. If it's work-related, there is a big chance that it's burnout. Another set of symptoms is related to your emotions. Do you doubt your skills constantly? No matter what certificates you have, no matter how many people have praised you already, do you have this feeling that you don't deserve it? Now that could be a big hint for you that something's wrong. And when you look into the future, do you see it in bright colors or rather in dark and shady colors? Another worrying sign is when you feel that you are all alone in the world and no matter if you have brothers or sisters, parents, friends or neighbors, you have this strange impression that no one can ever help you, that you are totally on your own.
and this could also lead to another symptom, the feeling of total lack of motivation. It's as if you can't find the energy in yourself, the willingness to take any action, whether it's physical, intellectual or emotional. Another telltale sign of burnout syndrome is you isolating yourself, for no other reason, from others. And I don't mean only your colleagues, but also people you really like, your friends, your family members, your nearest and dearest. And I'm not talking about isolating yourself due to coronavirus pandemic. No, I'm talking about isolating yourself because you just don't feel like spending time with others. Please know that if it happens from time to time, probably there is nothing to worry about. But if it happens more often, it could be a symptom of a very serious condition. Another very serious symptom of burnout syndrome is when you take out your frustrations on others. Whether it's your colleague, your family member, perhaps your boyfriend or your girlfriend. If you see that you are taking your frustrations on them, I think it's high time you start doing something about your burnout syndrome. Another behavioral symptom of burnout syndrome is procrastinating things you need to do or perhaps doing your tasks much longer than normally. It can also show itself by avoiding work or avoiding your daily responsibilities, coming late to work or leaving it much too early. And perhaps one last example would be using substances to cope with life. Substances like alcohol, drugs, but also things like chocolate or ice cream. Whenever you feel that you need them necessarily to live through the day, it could be a sign of a burnout syndrome. Does any of these symptoms sound familiar? Do you recognize some of them in yourself or perhaps in someone else? Remember that on my channel you can watch other videos on burnout syndrome as well as on other aspects of stress. I hope it will be very helpful for you. Would you like to let me know in the comments which of these symptoms you have recognized in yourself or in others? I'm sure it will help you. And I'll see you next time.